Hello everyone, are you ready for the next round? We've got another 25 practice questions for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. Format of the question is going to be same as before. You'll get to know the correct answer explanation and why others are not correct. Before we dive in, if you're finding these quizzes helpful, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified every time a new video drops. And I love hearing from you, so please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this format and if there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos. Let's go to the new set of questions. Which AWS service automates software deployments across both EC2 instances and on-premises servers? Correct answer, AWS Code Deploy Explanation. AWS Code Deploy is designed to automate software deployments to various compute services like Amazon EC2, AWS Lambda, Amazon ECS, and even on-premises servers. It ensures smooth updates with minimal downtime. Why others are incorrect. AWS Elastic Beanstalk focuses on application orchestration, not hybrid deployments. AWS Code Commit, a Git-based source control service, not a deployment tool. AWS OpsWorks provides configuration management with Chef Puppet, not direct deployment automation. A company needs to provide employees with controlled access to a predefined set of AWS resources. Which AWS solution is best for this? Correct answer, AWS Service Catalog Explanation. AWS Service Catalog enables organizations to create and manage a catalog of approved AWS resources, ensuring employees can only deploy from a curated portfolio. Why others are incorrect. AWS Config tracks and audits resource configurations, not access control. AWS AppSync, a GraphQL API service unrelated to restricting AWS resources. AWS SDKs, software tools for interacting with AWS, not for access management. Which AWS service lets you define and manage infrastructure as code? Correct answer, AWS CloudFormation. Explanation, AWS CloudFormation enables infrastructure as code, allowing you to define cloud resources and templates and manage them programmatically. Why others are incorrect. AWS Code Pipeline manages CI-CD pipelines, not infrastructure. AWS OpsWorks uses Chef Puppet for configuration, not IAC templates. AWS Code Deploy focuses on application deployments, not infrastructure provisioning. Which cloud principle allows resources to automatically expand when demand increases and contract when demand decreases? Correct answer, elasticity explanation. Elasticity refers to the capability of scaling resources up and down automatically as workload demand changes. Why others are incorrect. Reliability ensures workloads run consistently. Durability, focuses on long-term data persistence. Availability, ensures uptime and accessibility, not scaling. Which AWS service leverages machine learning to monitor and secure sensitive data stored in S3 buckets? Correct answer. Amazon Macy explanation. Amazon Mashi uses ML to discover and classify sensitive data in S3 buckets and helps maintain compliance. Why others are incorrect. Amazon Cognito manages authentication and user sign-in, not data discovery. AWS Shield protects against DDoS attacks, not S3 data. AWS Network Firewall provides network level protection, not S3 specific. Which AWS service is used to audit and evaluate the configuration of AWS resources? Correct answer, AWS Config Explanation. AWS Config tracks resource configuration changes and evaluates them against compliance policies. Why others are incorrect. 
Amazon Guard Duty detects threats, not config auditing. Amazon Inspector identifies vulnerabilities, not config drift. Amazon CloudWatch monitors logs and metrics, not compliance. Which AWS service should a company use to build a petabyte scale data warehouse in the cloud? Correct answer, Amazon Redshift Explanation. Amazon Redshift is a fully managed data warehouse service designed for large-scale analytics workloads. Why others are incorrect. Amazon ElastiCache provides caching, not warehousing. Amazon DynamoDB, a NoSQL database, not for analytics warehousing. Amazon RDS, a managed relational database, not for large-scale warehousing. Which AWS support plan offers one hour response for production outages and 15 minutes for business critical system failures? Correct answer, enterprise explanation. Enterprise support offers the fastest SLA, 15 minutes for critical issues and one hour for production issues. Why others are incorrect. Business provides one hour for urgent cases, but not 15 minutes. Developer, slower response times only for dev test use cases. Basic, no guaranteed response times. Which AWS feature controls inbound and outbound traffic for EC2 instances? Correct answer. Security groups, explanation. Security groups act as virtual firewalls for EC2, controlling inbound and outbound traffic. Why others are incorrect. Amazon Route 53 manages DNS, not traffic filtering. AWS Direct Connect provides private network connectivity, not traffic rules. Amazon VPC provides isolated networks, but not per instance traffic control. Which IAM credential type allows users to make requests via the AWS CLI? Correct answer, API key explanation. AWS CLI requires programmatic credentials provided as an access key ID and secret access key. Why others are incorrect. AWS KMS keys for encryption, not authentication. Username password works for AWS Management Console login, not CLI. SSH key used for connecting to EC2 instances, not for AWS CLI. Which AWS offering gives customers on-demand access to compliance documentation and security reports? Correct answer, AWS Artifact Explanation. AWS Artifact is the service that provides self-service access to AWS compliance documentation, audit reports, and security certifications. Why others are incorrect. Amazon Inspector, used for automated security assessments, not compliance reports. AWS Trusted Advisor, offers best practice recommendations, not compliance reports. AWS CloudTrail, logs API activity for governance audit, not compliance documentation. A company needs to keep data on premises for compliance, but still wants AWS services integrated with low latency. Which AWS service meets this need? Correct answer, AWS Outposts explanation. AWS Outposts brings AWS services and infrastructure directly to on-premises environments, ensuring data residency while maintaining low latency connectivity. Why others are incorrect. AWS Local Zones extend AWS closer to users in metropolitan areas, not on-premises. Availability Zones are within AWS regions, not customer premises. AWS Wavelength Zones built for mobile edge computing with telco networks, not compliance-driven on-premises needs. Which AWS service allows developers to upload applications quickly without manually managing servers or infrastructure? Correct answer, AWS Elastic Beanstalk explanation. Elastic Beanstalk automatically handles capacity provisioning, load balancing, and scaling, so developers can just upload their code. Why others are incorrect. 
AWS CloudFormation defines infrastructure as code, not direct app deployment. AWS Code Commit, source control service, not app deployment. AWS Code Deploy, automates deployments but requires infrastructure management. Which service provides continuous monitoring for suspicious activity in an AWS account and can trigger automated responses? Correct answer, Amazon GuardDuty explanation. GuardDuty uses machine learning and threat intelligence feeds to detect suspicious behavior and supports automated remediation. Why others are incorrect. Amazon Inspector focuses on software vulnerability scanning. Amazon Detective helps investigate and analyze security findings, not real-time detection. AWS Trusted Advisor recommends best practices doesn't detect threats. A company wants to calculate estimated costs for compute, storage, database, and networking before migration. Which AWS tool should be used? Correct answer, AWS Pricing Calculator Explanation. The AWS Pricing Calculator is designed to estimate monthly AWS costs for planned architectures. Why others are incorrect. Cost Explorer analyzes existing cost and usage, not future estimates. AWS Budgets sets cost and usage limits, not initial cost estimation. AWS Organizations manages multiple AWS accounts, not pricing. A company needs a file system that multiple EC2 Linux instances can mount across availability zones. Which service should they use? Correct answer, Amazon EFS. Explanation, Amazon Elastic File System is a fully managed, scalable file storage that can be mounted across multiple instances and AZs. Why others are incorrect. Amazon S3, object storage, not a mountable file system. Amazon FSx for Windows supports Windows-based workloads. Amazon EBS, block storage attached to a single instance, not shared. Which AWS service helps track configuration changes, enforce compliance, and automatically remediate resources? Correct answer, AWS Config Explanation. AWS Config provides configuration recording, compliance auditing, and remediation actions on AWS resources. Why others are incorrect. AWS Secrets Manager manages credential secrets. AWS CloudTrail records API calls, not compliance remediation. AWS Trusted Advisor provides best practice checks, not enforcement. Which service allows testing mobile applications on real devices hosted in AWS? Correct answer, AWS Device Farm explanation. AWS Device Farm lets developers taps on real Android and iOS devices in the cloud. Why others are incorrect. AWS IoT Core connects IoT devices, not app testing. AWS Direct Connect, network connectivity service. AWS Wavelength, edge computing service, not app testing. Which AWS connectivity option lets a company connect privately and directly to a VPC, bypassing the public internet, Correct answer, AWS Direct Connect explanation. AWS Direct Connect provides dedicated private connectivity from on-premises to AWS VPC. Why others are incorrect. VPC Internet Gateway provides internet access, not private connectivity. VPC NAT Gateway allows private subnets to access the internet. AWS VPN uses public internet, not private dedicated lines. Which AWS service enables building interactive dashboards with integrated machine learning insights? Correct answer, Amazon QuickSight explanation. QuickSight is a BI tool for creating dashboards and it integrates ML for predictive insights. Why others are incorrect. Amazon Kendra, intelligent search service. Amazon Athena, 
Query Service for S3, not BI Dashboards. Amazon Redshift, Data Warehouse, not Visualization. A company runs Docker workloads on EC2 and wants AWS to handle scheduling and cluster management. Which service should they choose? Correct answer, AWS Fargate explanation. AWS Fargate runs containers without managing servers or clusters, making it ideal for Docker workloads. Why others are incorrect. Amazon Athena, query service, unrelated to containers. Amazon RDS, managed database service. AWS Lambda, serverless compute but not designed for container orchestration. In the AWS well-architected framework, which pillar emphasizes using infrastructure as code for defining workloads? Correct answer, operational excellence. Explanation, the operational excellence pillar encourages infrastructure as code for repeatability, automation, and consistency. Why others are incorrect. Security focuses on protecting data and workloads. Reliability focuses on availability and fault tolerance. Performance efficiency optimizes resources, not code-driven infra. An application on EC2 instances needs to send messages via SNS. Which AWS feature should be used to securely grant permissions? Correct answer, IAM roles explanation. IAM roles allow EC2 instances to securely assume permissions to access AWS services like SNS. AWS Security Hub, security visibility tool. Amazon Guard Duty, threat detection, not permissions. AWS Certificate Manager, manages SSL TLS certs, not access. Which AWS service improves network performance by routing traffic through AWS's global network backbone? Correct answer. AWS Global Accelerator Explanation. AWS Global Accelerator routes user traffic through AWS's global network for improved speed, latency, and availability. Why others are incorrect. Route Table. Manages routing inside VPC, not global acceleration. Amazon VPC. Creates isolated networks, not performance optimization. AWS Transit Gateway. Connects VPCs, not global traffic acceleration. Which AWS database service is purpose-built for graph data with vertices and edges? Correct answer, Amazon Neptune explanation. Amazon Neptune is a graph database designed for relationships using vertices and edges. Amazon RDS, relational database is not graph. Amazon QLDB, ledger database for mutable records. Amazon DynamoDB, NoSQL key value store, not graph-based.